update for you early for the weekend. Um, I wanted to show you more of the big picture uh, rather than anything else um, where we've been on Bitcoin and uh, ranges that we've traded and, and so forth and um, where we're likely to go and where, what are some of the possibilities. Uh, you recently knew that I had a buy right at uh, 9900 uh, a short-term buy and I, I'm just basically holding this position against the shorts that I have. I've got another short above here, um, 12,400. And, you know, um, so I'm just basically holding the combination of the, the long and the short. Normally I would have sold at 10,800, but, you know, I, I don't have any real impetus to do that. Uh, so I'm just keeping the hedge. Um, and that basically gives me a, a positioning of around 50% of my net BTC as being short. And I plan on uh, shorting more and exiting the long in the future. And uh, But um, it all depends on how this plays out. This is what I currently see in the marketplace as a good possibility uh, for us going forward. Um, which short term, a lot of people are going to be very bullish. They're going to be like, "Woohoo! I can't, you know, fantastic." And uh, but it's not all sunshine and lollipops or whatever. <laughs> um, let's look from the low over here. Now everybody's forgotten this low. This is a common thing in, in markets. Just like uh, uh, people forgot uh, this high over here, and then we dropped and so forth. And you know the story there. Um, now I've traded the inside ranges over and over and over and longer term this is thinning out uh, by next year sometime the likelihood of us making new highs and so forth as soon as we complete everything inside here um, and the last of it would be either a move up to this area here where we go up to the 13,000 14,000 area and then go all the way back down to the under 8,000. Now, this is a 61.8%. Uh, this is going to turn into what looks to be a five-wave pattern. And all of this is extremely logical. It, it happens a lot in markets. I've uh, calculated these numbers and um, uh, the scenarios. And statistically, the odds are in my favor of this playing out to a high degree. Um, but, you know, I don't want to predict the future. It's not what I do. I'm just saying statistically from everything that I can see, these are what uh, your elements are. And, um, you know, uh, looking at each and every object and every different rational um, uh, number, uh, this is what makes the most sense quantitatively over time. So we could get a move uh, going into the winter time. Uh, to the new year, uh, which we go all the way back up to the highs and higher of this 14,000, 13,000 area over here. Um, so that is a good possibility uh, from where we stand on Bitcoin. Uh, or we could go over and fail somewhere under here and then just drop back down to under that 8,000 level. And again, once we hit this level, I'm out. I'm, I'm no longer going to be shorts, and I'm going to be holding just long. Uh, that's my game plan. I am not going to be holding any shorts once we get to under this level, and I'm going to be purely long and looking to stay long. Um, so I will be alpha long, and I will not be looking to short anymore. Uh, everything would have been completed on the charts in longer term. We can get all-time highs and higher going forward from that point on. And this extends out into 2022. So I'm expecting us to go up into the winter time. This makes the most sense. And then uh, towards the uh, springtime or whatever after the new year, after 2021, we're going to get a pullback that goes all the way back down to here, uh, towards this level down here. And then I'm going to be nothing but along, and uh, I'm not going to hold or hedge any of my BTC. Like right now, I'm uh, hedged about half of my BTC. Well, I'm not going to do that in the future. I'm going to be completely out and completely long and strong and just 
probably more in hodl mode. I'm not going to be looking for as many short-term trades as we go off into um, uh, 2021. Uh, you're going to notice that my trading is going to start to contract. I'm going to be looking for maybe outside opportunities of different um, pairs to make up uh, for the lack of trading in BTC. So that'll be interesting and that will be a majority to the long side um, unless I see some real contradictory good hedges uh, but it's not going to be would not be of any substantial amount. Uh, opportunities are starting to dissipate. I'm not seeing as many clear opportunities. Um, so let's keep that in mind. One, two, three, four, five. This is very common. Markets do this. Structure, statistics, quantitatively all line up. And uh, we'll see what we what happens. Um, but once we go into this area up here, you know, everybody's going to be bullish and going to be like, we're going to the moon. I'm going to be looking for us to go all the way back down here <laughs> with whatever high we make here. And this, this uh, four, low 14,000 range makes the most sense that we would get right to this uh, area up here, this 14,339. Um, and then, boom, all the way back under um, the 8,000 area. And uh, yeah, uh, so that's what I'm looking for. Uh, other than that, let's go look at SNXT uh, Synthetic. This is one that I'm just holding. Don't have much in it, so yeah. Let's go to a daily uh, four hour. You can see where we stand right here. I've averaged, I've got one more buy down here. And I'd even buy it down here if it goes to three. Um, an exit point could have been the 61.8 reversed over here if you wanted the short term trade, but again, not interested. I, I want much higher numbers than just a percentage on this. It's not going to be interesting to me. Uh, I want to see it go many times its value, uh, you know, 3x and above. And who knows what it, what it can do. If it, goes there, it could probably go to some silly number way up, up and beyond. So I'm going to hold out for this one for being a big winner. And um, other than that, Tesla, you know all about that in the stock market. I don't have to tell you much about that, but we did get a move back up. Um, I've already exited this when we went down to that uh, 330s range. That was the perfect exit point. And you know, I discussed that in the other video, so this trade's over. I do not feel like reshorting it right now. We're going into battery day. If it goes above this level here, I could have a uh, a setup. So we'll see. We'll we'll see what it does. If it goes above that 500 within the next um, four days, because battery day is on the 22nd. So when is that? That's going to be Monday. Is that correct? I mean, oh, it's early morning. Um, I, I think that's Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, it's the 21st, right? I hate it when my brain doesn't work. Yeah, Tuesday is the 22nd. So, uh, today is really? Wow, I lost a day. Um, anyway. Um, so we see where we are with Tesla. If it goes above this 500 area here, I think I might short some more. It'd be kind of greedy of me, but at least I would have, you know, uh, I always like to um, trade something that is very news oriented. And battery day is a big day, and it's very positive. Everything's pumping and whatnot. And but this thing is ridiculously priced. Let me tell you. Um, it's just not, you know, it, it's just not going to hold its value. It's just not, it's not like, it's not possible. I mean, after all this election BS with the Fed and um, is done, you know, we're going to have to pay the piper. And uh, I, I don't see the markets doing very well based on, of course, Trump will blame him. Oh, it was all, you know, you know, you can't you know, put in all this money, all this fake money. It's very corrupt and uh, it kind of, 
It's one of the reasons that uh, silver and gold uh, I have as hedges, and it's mainly because of that. And again, I'm still looking for us to go up on silver here. You know, my idea, my target over here. And I'm just holding. There's nothing for me to do. I'm looking for that to occur. And um, we'll see. Um, yeah, nothing really interesting. I, I did want you to get the big picture view on Bitcoin uh, to see what I'm looking at and whatnot. So uh, you have an idea. And other than that, I will update you guys later, probably in the week. And until then, have a great weekend.